the Heifetz International Music Institute and its Festival of Concerts, more than 50 live concerts in Stanton, Virginia, and daily programs streaming worldwide. Full calendar and information at Heifetz Institute. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Junior Division Showcase number six from the Heifetz International Music Institute. This is our Junior Division Showcase number six. And I want to pause on that number for a second, which just underscores something that we've been talking about here for some of our recent concerts. We have 60 students enrolled in our Junior Division here at the Heifetz Institute, and we have never had six concerts by the time the second week rolled around. We usually be in about our second one. Uh, but we really are, uh, we have an extraordinarily talented group of students here uh, who have so much artistry and so much talent to share with you that uh, we've actually been able to hold right now our sixth concert um, of the summer and we're not finished yet. So I'm thrilled to have you all with us either here at the South Market stage at Grace Christian School in the heart of historic downtown Stanton, Virginia, and also those of you aunts and uncles and cousins and grandpas and grandmas and little siblings and older siblings and parents all watching us on YouTube and on Facebook Live. Great to have you along for an afternoon of some wonderful solo performances by our students in our junior division. And um, I should also just give you a quick house cleaning to say thank you to Crucible Coffee. There is free coffee for, sorry about the online people, you're on your own. But for those of you here in the hall, um, we have free coffee from Crucible uh, Coffee, and we'll also have the concession stand open uh, at intermission. Um, I am Benjamin Rowe, the President and CEO of the Heifetz International Music Institute, and just a thrill to have you here and to listen to the artistry of these young students. So thank you for being with us, and we'll get on with the program. Good afternoon. My name is Brian Mandigo, and, I, and I'm a 10-year-old cellist from New York City. I, I will be performing the first movement of the Concerto in C minor by J.C. Bach with my pianist Elizabeth Hill. The piece was not actually written by J.C. Bach, but it was written by Henry Casadesus. The, re the reason that people think it was by J.C. Bach is because Henry Casadesus wanted to write it in the style of J.C. Bach. What I like about this piece is the amount of energy that it has in it, and I like performing it with that energy. I hope that I will be able to portray this energy through my performance, and I, and I hope that you will feel it. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Post, and I'm an 11-year-old violinist from Arlington, Virginia. Today, my wonderful pianist, Yadi, and I will be performing the first movement of Concerto No. 3 in G Major, KV216, composed by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, cadenzas by Sam Franco and James Post. One thing that I think is really cool about this piece is that Mozart wrote it when he was only 19 years old. Um, when I was younger, I used to listen to Mozart and used to pretend that I was playing the violin with the cardboard tube inside of a paper towel roll. Um, this piece starts off with a G major theme played by the piano and then is joined by the soloist. This theme is bright and happy, a bright and happy discussion between the solo violin and piano. Uh, one thing I really like about this piece is how playful it is, and I hope to convey that playfulness to you today now that I'm playing with a real bow. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. Um, hello, my name is Chana Lee, and I am a 10 years old violinist. And today, I'm with my amazing pianist, Yadi. Yadi. So um, today, I'll be playing a piece that you probably may have known, may have heard before. It's called the um, concert. It's the first movement of the concerto by Mendelssohn. So um, this concerto is one that I've heard many times. Because back when I was like much younger, like when I was six, which was around the time that I started violin, my mom used to listen to concertos like a lot. And um, Mendelssohn was probably my favorite one that I've heard that back then. So I hear it all the time. And when I started violin, that's when I actually started listening to it. And I really liked it, and I wanted to play with it. But back then, I knew that it was not to my le level. So here I am. I finally got to play it. Back then, I really liked Mendelssohn because, yeah, I, I, I just like, I just loved how, well, I just loved the tune of it and how flowy it was in the different sections. But now, I found out that Mendelssohn was, he was actually really pretty young back when he wrote this. Maybe he was like a young adult. So, w like in the intro, it sounds kind of like cool and sad, but it also kind of, s but in my opinion, it kind of sounds uh, slightly romantic. So maybe I was thinking that back then Mendelssohn was a young, lovesick man who just got uh, heartbroken. Yeah. So, I just, so yeah, this song has always had, this piece has always had a special place in my heart. So, I'm really ga glad that I can share it with you all today. Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Ishwan Lee, and I am a 13-year-old violinist from Rockville, Maryland. Today, with my wonderful pianist, Dr. Lin, I will be playing the second movement of the Violin Concerto No. 1 in G minor by Max Bruch. This concerto was initially composed in 1866, but underwent revision with the great help of the renowned violinist, Yosef Joachim, leading to its completion in 1867. Throughout the performance, you will be able to hear the beautiful melodies and like lush themes flowing seamlessly. I am thrilled to perform this beautiful piece to you all today. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ethan Lowe. I'm a 14-year-old cellist from Georgia. Um, today, I'll be performing the fourth movement of the cello concerto in E minor by Edward Elgar with my amazing pianist, Iris Chu. With the aftermath of the First World War and the, a fatally ill wife, Elgar incorporated um, the somber and depressing atmosphere felt in the music. It is almost as if there is a long, dark tunnel with no end to it, and someone is trapped inside of it um, with all their life struggles, and they can never escape, yet they have enough resilience to keep moving forward. Um, today, I plan on portraying this um, rich and passionate story to you all. Thank you.
the Heifetz International Music Institute and its Festival of Concerts, more than 50 live concerts in Stanton, Virginia, and daily programs streaming worldwide. Full calendar and information at heifetzinstitute.org. Okay, we're on for the second half of our program here for our Junior Division Showcase 6. You know, things move pretty quickly around here in Heifetz land, and uh, since this morning, for some of you who are here, uh, if you look carefully on the back of your program, you might notice that another concert has just popped up. Um, we're now heading into our final week of the Heifetz International Music Institute for summer 2023, which means that there is a groaning board of students who are uh, eager to perform uh, one final time here at the Institute, both in our junior and senior divisions. So uh, we actually now have an even dozen performances remaining uh, before we say goodbye to Hyphus 2023, uh, including, of course, our final Hootenanny of the Season tonight on Page Terrace on the Mary Baldwin University campus. And then tomorrow, the Sunday matinee, uh, which will include a wonderful performance of the poem by Chausson, one of the wonderful kind of epic violin journeys. And then on Monday, our regular Stars of Tomorrow, and on Tuesday, a bonus Stars of Tomorrow. So we will actually have concerts next week in Francis Auditorium on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, all Stars of Tomorrow concerts. And then Thursday, two concerts, our Junior Division Showcase number seven will be right back here in the South Market stage at one o'clock. That's another concert that's absolutely free. And Thursday evening will be our um, Heifetz Chamber Music Showcase number five, which will feature two of the three groups that are in our Chamber Music Seminar, complete performances of the Shostakovich String Quartet number three and the Brahms String Quartet number one. Uh, that should be a fantastic performance. I think it's the first one. It might be the third one. I have to check, check my fact check that one. Anyway, great quartet by Brahms and by Shostakovich on Thursday. And then on Friday, our final gallery concert of chamber music and our final celebrity series concert. You might have also noticed that we're doing a run out to the Crozet Public Library uh, next Thursday. And then we'll head into the final weekend with a celebrity series on Friday night and two more junior division concerts back here in the South Market stage and then our grand finale. So only one week left, but in one sense, that's uh, for many festivals, that's all they do in, for an entire festival, 12 concerts. So lots and lots to look forward to. And uh, of course, you can watch most of them right online here too on YouTube and our Facebook live channel and also rewatch them. So, so much great music ahead. So many great talented young students here with us and I'm eager to hear more in our second half. So thanks for being with us. Good afternoon. My name is Jean Park, and I'm a 15-year-old violinist from Sammamish, Washington. Today, my amazing pianist, Jing, and I are going to be performing The Song of Love by Joseph Suk. Suk was a Czech composer who was a son-in-law to Dvorak, who mentored him. This Song of Love was written before he was married, which I think was to describe the love and passion he had for his future wife. I hear this piece translate exactly into what I think love really is. I imagine a story between two lovers and the life they led together, including the ups and downs, but with the perfect happy ending. I hope that throughout my playing, you can create your own story of love. Thank you.
everyone. Thank you all for coming today. My name is Spencer Chu, and I'm a 12-year-old violinist from London, Ontario, Canada. And this is my wonderful pianist, Dr. Hannah. Today we will be playing Dance Espanol by Manuel de Falla. This piece was part of de Falla's opera, La Vita Breve, and was used in a scene where a nobleman falsely pledges to marry a gypsy. When I play this piece, I think about flamenco dancers and their castanets and how they combine the clicks of the castanets with their dancing to create such an amazing piece of art. This piece was later arranged by Chrysler, and I think you can hear his virtuosic approach to the violin along with Defaya's bold Spanish characteristics. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Giles DeFoss, and I'm a 13-year-old violinist from Annapolis, Maryland. Today, Xiao Yang and I will be performing for you the first movement of Symphony Espanol by Lalo. Lalo was born January 27th, 1823 in France. He was a French composer. He wrote this piece in 1874, and later his friend Pablo de Sarasate performed this piece in 1875. You can hear the Spanish influence in this work by the unique Spanish rhythms. Thank you.
Hello, everybody. My name is Victor Su, and I am a 15-year-old violinist from Creskill, New Jersey. And today, my amazing pianist, Dr. Hanner, and I will be performing for you the first movement of the Violin Concerto No. 3 in B minor by Camille Saint-Saëns. This piece is filled with virtuosic brilliance, as you will hear right at the beginning of this, uh, this amazing movement. And as I worked more and more on this, I learned how to sort of combine the violinist technique and the violin's beautiful sound together to create a masterpiece. And I also learned how Saint Sans wrote this in a way that allows me to do this in such a nice way. And on a last note, I would like to dedicate this performance to my late grandfather, who unfortunately passed away three days ago. Thank you.
Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kazuki Kyo. I'm a 12-year-old violinist from United Kingdom. Today, I will be playing Introduction of Ronica Bricioso by Camille Saint-Saëns with my wonderful pianist, Yadi. When Saint-Saëns was 24 years old, he met a young violinist, Pablo de Sarasate, who is actually 15 years old at the time. Sarasate requested Camille Saint-Saëns to write a violin concerto for him, which you've actually just heard from Victor. And this piece was originally supposed to be the finale of the concerto, but since it was so successful, it became its own independent piece. In some passages, there are some very virtuosic um, passages, but um, some are very expressive and emotional. I may not be able to play this the, as brilliantly as Sun Sans this did, but I hope you can experience the way Sun Sans has written this piece for his dear friend. Thank you. <laughs> 